I need to think about it. Or, I'm going to go away and think about it. You've probably heard those objections before. And, you probably know that your prospect is highly unlikely to do exactly that. As in, go away and think about it. The traditional way of handling this objection is to ask something like, so, what exactly is it you need to think about? Perhaps I can help. Now, some will take your help and some won't. The best you can do is schedule a next contact there and then. As they say, never let them leave without that next contact in the diary. The better strategy for dealing with the I need to think objection is this. When someone says they need to think about it, they're saying that for one of two reasons. First, is they're just not interested at all. Second is, they're interested, but not sure. You need to find out which it is. So, you say to your prospect, Mr. Prospect, when someone says to me they need time to think about it, they're saying that for one or two reasons. First is, they're not interested at all. The second is, they're interested, but not sure. Which is it? If they say they're not interested, that's fine, and you're done. If they say they're interested but not sure, you say, Mr. Prospect, when someone says they're not sure about making a buying decision, it's for one of three reasons. First one is fit. Does this product fit in with what a person is looking for? If they say yes, great, move on. If no, you can have a discussion as to why they think it isn't a fit and take it from there. The second one is functionality. Does it have the features that the prospect wants? If yes, great. If no, simply have a discussion about why they think there are features missing. You may be able to add those features quite easily. You would then say, Mr. Prospect, if it's not fit and it's not functionality, it has to be finance. Then you can have a discussion about the money. What's actually happening is, I'm funneling them into making a buying decision. Interested or not, interested but unsure, three reasons for uncertainty. Handling the think about it objection this way, you get to see if they really want to buy.